Meanwhile, the Hershey's Kisses figure skating challenge continues here just outside of Detroit and skating for Team Galindo. On the ice right now, the 16-year-old from Great Neck, New York, Sarah Hughes. What a season she has had. The music is Nessim Dorma from the Italian opera Torando, Shades of Brian Boitano, who did that, used that music so effectively. And this is her long program that she did two years ago. And she is thinking about maybe doing this at the Nationals. Sequence. This is a straight line one, more or less straight. Now this combination coming up, this triple up, double toe. Oh, she fell out of it, but you know, there was a very interesting fact that it wasn't as much of a flutz as she usually does. That was a considerably better back edge leading into that. Could that have caused the stumble? Possibly. Because it was a little different timing. She's already beaten the top two ladies in the world. That was at Skate Canada when she defeated Michelle Kwan and Arena Slutskaya. We'll see her next week at the Grand Prix Final. Now, you mentioned she was trying to decide on what long program she was going to use at the Nationals. It could be this. Is it late in an Olympic season to be still doing that? It's no. Well, it's, I think it's a little bit late, but it's not too late. I mean, she can pull this together. This is beautiful music for her. And, you know, you have to go on what is really working. If something doesn't work, change it, get it done, and, you know, think positive for I, the Nationals. I take it you disagree. No, I don't think it's too late at all. I think, and it's not new music for her. She's been using it. wonderful flow over the ice and really great feeling for this music. Again, a triple left. Wonderful extension on this spiral. And look at the turn on one foot off into that back triple loop. The turn was good. The, the edge flipped it out. That's a difficult combination to do right after that spiral, stepping right back into a triple loop. But when it's done well, it, it is lovely. Nice falling split leap. Well, that was sort of a rushed program for her. She didn't quite settle down into it. It was sort of a frantic a little bit, and she seemed to be pushing very hard. Uh, but, you know, it was still a wonderful program, and it looked well. But I think that, you know, that she just started back in with this program. Maybe she's not quite comfortable. But there's still time left for the Nationals. And will she see if she stays with it? Sarah Hughes. 
And this was the triple flip she did in the middle of the program, reaching back there, tapping in, very nice tight legs in the air, beautiful position on the landing, good stretch. And this was her triple lutz she did late in the program, and she pulled that off, but it was a struggle on that landing. And this was the spiral into the triple loop that she had problems on. She just didn't get the lift in the air to finish the rotation and pull out on that landing. It's an unfortunate fall. So now Sarah awaits her marks. Remember, her individual scores will be added to the team totals. She is on Team Galindo, three teams of four. Team total, highest one at the end of the competition, winning it all. First set for skating technique, lower than she would like, 5.6. The low mark up to 5.8. Well, this was very uncharacteristic of Sarah to skate like this. Usually she's a, a tougher competitor, but I think she was distracted maybe by going back to this hmm. older program. Presentation marks now, those are higher, 5.8s and 5.9s. And very good ones. So an individual total of 57.8 for Sarah Hughes.